Somewhere in this crazy world, it's Tuesday, May 1st, 2018. And I'd say it's in this crazy world, it's Tuesday, May 1st. It's time for a song dissection. What song did I choose? I chose a song that I'm not particularly, I'm going to turn this thing the other way here. I chose a song that uh, when I was young, I particularly didn't care for it. I didn't really care for the band The Human League that much. I really didn't. I didn't, didn't care. Um, but I, a couple years ago, I bought a compilation album of a bunch of 80 songs and this was on it. And for some reason, listening to it now, years later, I mean, this song was released in 1981. It's the song, Don't You Want Me, uh, by Human League. The Human League. I think I could be in the Human League, although a lot of people, it looked more like an ogre or a troll. You can't be in the human league when you look like an ogre. Mm. Yes, I can. But, so, you know, when I was younger, didn't care for the song. But as I'm older, I, for some reason, appreciate the song a lot more. I like it. I now listen to it. It's, out in, it's in my playlist. I listen to it in my car now as I'm driving down the road. So it was released in 1981. Folks, that's 36 years ago. 36. So, um, it's it's kind of a... I don't really know what the song is. I know that I've heard the lyrics and I've listened to the lyrics a lot. And it's like, I'm kind of wondering... There's like parts in it, it's like, you better change your mind or we will both be sorry. And I'm just going, oh my God, what does he mean by that? So we're going to dissect the lyrics a little bit. And see if he means what I think he means, which is he's a homicidal maniac and he's going to kill her if she doesn't take him back. I hope the Human League isn't that weird, because then I don't want to be a part of it. I'll stay in my Ogre League. Let's begin. You were working as a waitress in a cocktail bar when I met you. He's telling a story, obviously. You were working as a waitress in a cocktail bar. I think she knows where she was working when she met you. Because you seem to be quite the uh, memorable fella. I picked you out. I shook you up. Picked you out. Maybe this wasn't a cocktail bar. Maybe this was a uh, burlesque bar. Maybe this was a house of ill repute. It wasn't at a cocktail bar. Maybe they serve cocktails at this particular bar. But if he chose her, maybe it was somewhere in Vegas or Amsterdam. I turned you around, turned you into someone new. <gasps> Magic. Abracadabra, poof, you're new. Because I did it. Or I'm just going to spin you in circles till you throw up and, you know, I don't know. Now, five years later, now, five years later on, you've got the world at your feet. What'd you, what'd you turn her into? Like a super giant or something? What are you, a mad scientist? Success has been so easy for you. But don't forget, it's me who put you where you are now. Never forget, it was me, me that put you where you are. I built you, I could break you. This guy already sounds a little obsessive. Sounds like he's maybe thinking she doesn't appreciate him as much as she should. Get over it, dude. You did your part, be happy she's a success now. You know in your mind you helped. But don't forget who put you there. And I can put you back there too. <gasps> he could put her back there. Don't. Don't you want me? Oh, obviously. Obviously. If you're threatening to uh, destroy her success, I can see where she would just totally throw herself at your feet. It's like, oh, please, bow down to the master... Because it's like, don't you want me? I could destroy you. <laughs> what woman could resist? 
You know I can't believe it when I hear that you won't see me. Don't. Don't you want me? You know I don't believe you when you say that you don't need me. Okay, now there's a song by the police called Every 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 Breath You Take, or I'll Be Watching You. It's called I'll Be Watching You. And that's about him being a stalker. Did nobody think to mention the Human League? This guy's a little bit more than even a stalker. He sounds like he might hurt her. The Human League is scary. Stick to my Ogre League. It's only scary to look at, but we're nice people. I much, it's much too late to find what you th when, when you think you've changed your mind, you'd better change it back or we will both be sorry. Now listen, Human League man, Human League sort of a man, if you're threatening, threatening this woman, I don't think she should take you back. I think she should take, I think she should take you to the police. It's like, sure, let's go on a date. I know the, I know a perfect place. Let me blindfold you. It's like, and then she leads him to the police department, and they handcuff him and tase him. Duh, get him with the taser. <laughs> Don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Oh. Don't you want to subscribe to me? Probably not after some of the weird stuff I do with my face. Don't you want me? Oh. Don't you want just... Don't you want to see my videos in your house every day? What do you like to see? Come on. This face in your house every day. Just watching videos. And you're like, oh my God. He's in my house. He could probably see me. Oh, I can't. It's like, even if I could see through this, my eyes are so bad I can barely see the screen in front of me. I might have to put these on. Look at these. Uh, yeah. I've done these in a few videos lately. Makes me look... Uh, Oh, but I always see that little shadow, and that's what I hate. It's like, see those things right there? See those? Yeah, those are annoying, so I'm going to get rid of these. Oh, don't do that. Don't scratch those. And then I guess the girl sings. <clears throat> I was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar. That much is true. So see, she's admitting it. She remembers the creepy guy. But even then... I knew I'd find a much better place either with or without you. So she was confident that she was going to succeed whether he was there or not. The five years we had, the five years we have had have been such a, have been such good times. And then she tells him she still loves him. Oh, don't tell him that. Oh, he'll never go away now. But now I think it's time I live my life on my own. I guess it's just what I must do. Well, don't tell him you love him. He's a creepy weirdo. You don't ever tell the creepy weirdo that you love him because he's never going away. Because the creepy weirdo's going to go, oh, She loves me. I'm going to be with her forever. And if she doesn't want to, you better change your mind or you will. we will both be sorry. Because he'll be in prison. Weirdo. Don't. Don't you want me? You know I can't believe it when I hear that you won't see me. Don't. Don't you want me? You know I don't believe you when you say that you don't need me. It's much too late to find when you think you've changed your mind. You better change it back. Or we will both be sorry. So lesson is, people that wrote songs in the 80s, especially the men, seem to become very weird if the women stopped paying attention to them. I wonder where some of these people are now. I don't think Sting is in jail. Maybe he didn't write the song for the police. But where is the Human League? Are they in a human prison? Maybe. But I don't know. I like the song. It is kind of creepy, though. Did you ever think it was really this creepy of a song? It's an 80s song. It's upbeat. It's fun. Sounding. <laughs> Until, I mean, this is basically a creepy love song that he sits there and he says, 
If you don't come back to me, some bad things will happen. So yeah, yeah, lady, whoa, how could you not want him? Oh, I think there's a lot of reasons why you wouldn't want him, and hopefully one of them is a restraining order. <laughs> so what do you think of the song? Will you not buy it now because you know how creepy it is? It's like, this guy is weird. It's like, I don't know, it's 1981. Like I said, anytime you hear weird lyrics, just remember, 80s. So, with all that being said, to the troops, past, present, and future, thanks for the freedom.